welcome back for yet another In the AM with Tactical Main. Real quick, guys, I want to ask y'all, those of you who are interested in the car and in the in the progresses I'm making in doing up the car, modding the car. Um, those of you that are interested in it. I'm thinking about doing a separate video, or not a separate video, a separate channel, or maybe going to my cactus channel, because I don't believe, hold on, turbo, <laughs> All right, let's get those windows up, we're going a little too fast, if it just got darker, I do apologize guys, I, I, I had to get my turbo fixed, my turbo fix. And the AM. <laughs> Where was I? I just, I love, I love the turbo. It makes me smile. Those of you that are interested in the car, okay, I've been thinking about putting videos of my car on Cactical Main. But the problem with that is my whole channel is restricted because I do guns. Guns are so scary. Yikes. Yeah, my whole channel is restricted because of scary guns. Guns are bad, right? Yeah. Uh, so, I'm, thinking about either starting another channel or putting it on my cactus channel on cactus main you guys let me know um, obviously if I put it on my cactus main channel I will get a lot more views and there's probably I mean there's 3,400 subscribers over there and there's probably like a few people out of that that would like to see the car as well but then again I don't know I've kind of let that channel die for, for reasons I haven't talked about yet Guys, let me know what you think. Uh, if I should create a whole new channel just for the car. And it's not going to be a whole bunch of videos, but I do got a lot of stuff coming in the mail for the car. So, that wouldn't be for making money because, you know, making money on YouTube is pretty much uh, is gone. But I don't want my car videos being restricted because there's kids like my nephew. He's a little gearhead, but he's his parents restrict his, his YouTube. So, I mean, he, he won't be able to see the videos just if I put it on Cactical Main because my channel's restricted, which that's really stupid, is it not? So that's why I'm thinking about doing a, a different channel or going to the Cactus channel. You guys let me know down in the comments below or shoot me a private message if you're not a, uh, a comment lever type person. I mean, I'm kind of the same way. I don't like leaving comments. Anywho, what is this morning's talk about? Your gun fucking sucks and it will get you killed how many people have heard this that's been going through the interwebs non-stop i mean you even hear i even hear it in the local gun shops oh that it ain't got no dust cover that would get you killed oh lord of mercy it's 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 ridiculous these people who they just pick a certain gun and they and that's it that's all they love clock fanboys sick fanboys Smith fanboys, revolver fanboys, semi-automatic fanboys, 1911 fanboys, and that's it. And anything else will get you killed. Keltec will get you killed. Uh, Jimenez Arms will get you killed. A revolver will get you killed. You know, and, and all these guns suck and it'll get you killed. But you know what? The one thing, the one thing out of all these people that say your gun sucks, it'll get you killed. You know what the one thing none of them have volunteered to do? And that's stand in front of your gun while you're pulling the trigger. There's a reason. Because <laughs> it's more than likely that gun is going to go off. This whole thing of your gun sucks, it will get you killed, is stupid as hell. I know a lot of you have got to agree with me out there. It's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Not a single person who says that is volunteering to stand in front of a Jimenez Arms 380. Or volunteering to stand in front of a, a Keltec. I don't even know the Keltec models. I just don't like Keltec. Am I going to sit there and tell you your gun sucks and it'll get you killed? No. I just don't like them. It's it's mind-boggling that these people will say that, but then you point a gun at them and they're not going to just stand still and let you pull the trigger. They don't... <laughs> it's like, I don't know, on the internet and on, on, the, on the interwebs, behind the keyboard, behind the camera, they'll talk all that smack and... and But in real life, they're not going to stand in front of it. So why even bother? Just, you know, 
my look on it is if you want one of the crappier quality firearms do your due diligence do your research figure out that okay this firearm does have problems it gets the first two rounds off i mean there's a there's a trend that this firearm will get the first two rounds off but there's a possibility the slide is going to jam or i'm going to stove pipe and i'm going to have to do some remedial action in a firefight do you really want to do that? I mean, is that really worth saving $200 on a pistol or $300 on a pistol? That's up to you to decide. I'm not going to sit here and say your gun sucks and, you're, and, and it'll get you killed. No, you, you are the responsible firearm owner. You're the responsible American that needs to do your due diligence and do your research and figure out what firearm best suits you. Who's... Who am I to say that your gun sucks and it's going to get you killed? Who is anybody to say your gun sucks and it's going to get you killed? In fact, I believe if you're one of the people that say your gun sucks and it's going to get you killed, you need to stand in front of that gun and prove a point. That's plain and simple. Leave the people alone. Some people really like kel -Tex. Some people swear by Jimenez. Lots of people, a good friend of mine, swears by his high point. Who am I to say that, that his gun sucks and it's going to get him killed? You know, I'll drive a Ford right now. I love my Ford Focus ST. I love it. I don't care if you tell me Ford sucks. I should have gotten a Jeep or I should have done this. I should have done that. No, it's what I like. <laughs> Getting into any car can get you killed. Oh, I don't know, guys. It's just a funny thing. There is no, just, like I said... Do your research, okay? If you if you have $250 to buy a gun, look at the guns, go to the gun store, look at the guns in that range, look at the pistols in that range, look at the rifles in that range. It's gonna be a 22 rifle, most likely in that range. Just look at them, right? Write down all the ones that you're interested in, the calibers and all that, and then do some research. Get onto YouTubes. Don't watch the big gigantic channels because they're going to show you a perfectly functioning gun. And um, because most of them are paid to show you a perfectly functioning gun, I got to put the window down a little bit and do your research. And like I said earlier, if you're finding out that that gun on on the third round every single time it's stove piping or it's, or it's jamming up or something. You're going to have to uh, accept that if you want to buy that gun or you go ahead and save. Save up a little bit more money. Now, believe you me, I know how hard it is to save money, guys. It's, it's extremely difficult to save money. Uh, especially nowadays, everything just costs so much. The cost of living is through the roof. So I do understand it is extremely hard to save money. But if you can put away 50 bucks a paycheck, that's, that's a lot. I know it is, but if you could put away 50 bucks for a paycheck, that's one, two, three, four, I don't know, four and a half paychecks, and you're up in the, from the 250, you're up in the $500 range, and you get a good used Glock. Or, you know, not even a Glock, you can get a Smith & Wesson MP9. Heck, with the sales that they have at my local gun store, sometimes you can get them for like 350, full size. Or the MP9C, compact, or the MP40, if that's what you choose. Which is definitely a more reliable firearm than a, like a kel or Jimenez Arms or something like that. So just do the research, guys. Like I said, I'm not going to sit here and tell you your gun sucks. No. Nobody has the right to sit there and say your gun sucks. I mean, they're obviously going to do that, but they're also not going to stand in front of it while you pull that trigger until it goes click. Alright guys, I'm getting close to work, so there you have it. Your gun does not suck, your gun is not going to get you killed any more so than getting in your car and driving to work in the morning will get you killed. Obviously there are guns that have problems, there are guns that have known problems. Uh, what the hell is this guy doing? There are guns that have known problems, there, there are guns that have known failures, lots of stuff. So. Just, just, just keep that in mind. Okay, you want to go with a cheaper gun? That's fine. That's your right. That's why we're in America, right? That's your right to do so. And I don't know what this big old asphalt truck's doing here. He's all in my way and shit. 
So, I don't know if you guys can see him through the rearview mirror. It's kind of weird. It's the end of the road, my, my work. Anywho. Yep. So buy what you're gonna buy. Enjoy what you, you bought. Don't let, don't get discouraged. If you went out and bought a gun before you did any research and, and then you get onto YouTube and, and you start doing some research and, and you're finding a bunch of people, you know, you, you got your, 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 your hardcore tactical trainer dude saying, oh, this is gonna get you killed. This gun sucks, this is gonna get you killed. Don't get discouraged. Go out to the range, put some rounds down range and find out for yourself. Find out for yourself if you like it. If you do not like it, if you do not feel comfortable with it, sell it, use that money to buy yourself something you will be comfortable with. Thank you for stopping by in the AM with Tactical Main Dudes. Like I said, your gun doesn't suck. It's not gonna get you killed any more than your car will on the way to work. Thank you for watching, subscribe, and stay tuned for more.